everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special story. That's why I've got funny hair. We're doing George Lucas's Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Today we have a special mission to defend the Rebel Alliance against the evil Galactic Empire. Time to get ready for our mission. Let's start with our shoulders. We roll our shoulders round and round. We lift them up and put them down. We lift up one, we lift up two. We put down one, we put down two. We go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Now we do our necks. We look over one shoulder and over the other, over one, and over the other. We look all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. Then we go around in a big lovely circle and the other way. Ooh. There we go. Now to get our hips open. We reach up high, keep your bottom on the floor and we put our hands in front of our legs. Now can we walk our hands forwards? One, two. Oh, let's try that again. One, two. And again, one, two. Well done, everyone. Let's now come into hero pose because today we're proper heroes. Roll all the way forward onto your knees and sit down on your heels. Now, take your hands forward and separate your feet and sit down in between your ankles. Yes, now if that's a bit pinchy on your knees, you can always come back to sit on your heels. Take your hands in front of you and crisscross your fingers. Turn them inside out and lift them up above your head. Yes, into hero pose. Now for that evil galactic empire. We stand up. We take our legs wide. We bend our knees and bring our hands up into our lobster or goddess pose. And let's do a big lion face to be scary. Ready? Very good, everyone. Time to get going. Now, the Death Star is the Galactic Empire's space station. Bringing your hands above your head, make a space station shape. The Death Star, taking your arms out wide, is nearly finished. And after it's finished, it will be powerful enough to completely destroy a whole planet. Crisscross your fingers behind your back. And after three, we're going to go boom. One, two, three, boom. Standing all the way up again. Oh, when that happens, it's going to be scary, scary stuff. But we're joining the Rebel Alliance, who are Jedi heroes. Turning to the side, bend your knee. Take your hands in front of you and hold your lightsaber and lift them up above your head like a very, very clever Jedi warrior. Hmm. Now, our galactic empire is ruled by the tyrannous and horrible Emperor Palpatine. Standing on one leg, can we make our fingers all craggy and our toe all craggy and pull a silly face? Well done everyone. Now Emperor Palpatine has a Sith apprentice. He's called Darth Vader and he wears a big black mask. Rub your hands together, make them really hot and put them over your eyes, making a mask. Darth Vader does some very funny breathing. Crisscross your fingers, put them under your chin, take a big breath all the way in and lift your elbows. Now, make a Darth Vader sound to the sky. Can we do that again? Breathing all the way in and all the way out, Darth Vader sound to the sky. 
One more time, breathing in, breathing out, Darth Vader-like. Darth Vader has just captured Princess Leia. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. Take your legs round to one side and your hand onto your knee. Take your other hand round behind you. Look over your shoulder. Look back at the front and say, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then we take our legs round to the other side. We take our other hand onto our knee and our other hand behind us looking over our shoulder back to the front. You're my only hope. But before Princess Leia was captured, she managed to steal the plans to the Death Star. She climbed in the secret room. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Then she tiptoed really quietly. She stole the plans and crawled out the escape hatch. Coming onto all fours, reach with one arm, reach with two, reach with one leg, reach with the other leg. Then when she was safely through, she wiggled on her tummy. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And she hid the plans in a droid called R2-D2. Tuck your toes, lift your bottoms up to the sky and let's make an R2-D2 noise, ready? Princess Leia stood up and she told the droid all about the plans for the Death Star. At the end, she did a special message. She leant all the way forward and she said, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then she crouched down to lock in the plans. You're my only hope. Our friend R2-D2 managed to escape. Hands down, toes back, lift your bottoms to the sky. But poor Princess Leia was arrested and captured by Darth Vader. Hands up! She was put in a prison cell. Cross one leg over the other and take your arms out wide. Take one arm under the other, like scissors, and wave with the underneath arm. Then swizzle your fingers round and sit down. Oh, look, she was all tied up. Let's try that the other side. Unravel yourself and cross the other leg over. Bend your knees and let's scissor the other arm underneath this time. Wave with your fingers and swizzle them round, sitting down. Oh, no, poor Princess Leia. But luckily, R2-D2 escaped in an escape pod. Sitting on your bottoms, let's hug our knees. Tuck your chin in like you're squashing a tomato and then rock and roll backwards and forwards. Ready? Whee! Woo! And whee! He escaped to the desert planet of Tatooine. On the planet, of Tatooine, our very lovely friend, Luke Skywalker, lives on a farm. Standing up, let's do a little farm dance. Diddly 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 dee, diddly diddly dee. He lives there with his step uncle and aunt. One day, Luke Skywalker was looking for the new droid delivery. Bring your thumbs and fingers together and have a look through your special cosminoculars. He hoped that those droids would be arriving soon so that he could go and buy one. They needed some extra help on the farm. <gasps> Here they are! He got into his land speeder. Sitting on your bottoms, take your legs out long. Start your engine. We're going over to one side. We're going over to the other side. We're going down a hill. We're going up a hill. Luke Skywalker bought two droids. He bought one called C-3PO, who looked a bit like a penguin. Standing up, take your feet out wide and your hands down by your side and waddle around. Oh, yes, my name's C-3PO. Uh, what can I do for you? But with C-3PO was the very special little droid R2-D2, remember, from Princess Leia. Hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom to the sky. Back at their house, Luke took them into the garage to give them a clean. He used his cloth and used his breath. <sighs> he 
He cleaned their ears, rubbing your ears from the bottom to the top. And their faces, oh yes, getting them all nice and shiny. <gasps> but what was this? He activated the message from Princess Leia. The droid R2-D2 showed him. Hands down, tuck your toes and lift one of your legs. Can you make it bent at the top as well? Yes! <gasps> Suddenly, the message from Princess Leia started in front of Luke. Standing up, she said, Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <gasps> Ooh, what's this, thought Luke? Who is Obi-Wan Kenobi? Could it be old Ben Kenobi, who lives in a cave on the other side of the mountain? <gasps> All of a sudden, there was a great big boom, ready with a monkey jump. One, two, three, boom! Oh no! Luke went running outside. Run, 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 run. Oh, his home with his uncle and his aunt had been destroyed. Now there was nothing for Luke to do. He had to go and seek out Obi-Wan Kenobi. In his land speeder, he headed across the mountain, hands down by your sides, mountain pose, pressing your feet into the ground and close your eyes. On the other side of the mountain, he came to the cave. Jump your feet wide, lift your hands above your head. He knocked on the door and the door opened. Coming down to your knees, take one leg out to the side, lift your arm to the sky and take your other arm onto your extended leg. The door opened and there stood the legendary Jedi Knight, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Put your hands together. He says, use the force, Luke. He closes the door. Come back to two knees, take your other leg out to the other side, lift your arm to the sky and close the door. Once inside, Obi-Wan Kenobi explains to Luke about the Jedi way, the Force. He teaches him how to fight. Step one leg forwards, one leg backwards. Reach up with your lightsaber. Open your arms wide, coming into a strong Jedi warrior pose. Then reach your lightsaber up to the sky and crisscross your fingers behind your back and bow all the way down. Wow. Luke then sees that Obi-Wan Kenobi needs to know the message from R2-D2 and he shows him the droid. R2 opens up, hands down, take your toes back and lift up your other leg, cocking it over the end. <gasps> Obi-Wan Kenobi sits and strokes his beard as he watches the special message from Leia. They need help. They need to get to Alderaan, which is Princess Leia's planet. And to get there, they're going to need the help of the smuggler, the space pirate, Han Solo. They head straight to the crazy cantina bar, where there are some aliens playing music. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom. Lift up your bottom and let's do a crazy alien dance. Ready? Do, 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 do. Wow, well done everyone. They sit across the table with Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca, who looks a bit like a giant gorilla or a Bigfoot, standing up. And the floor. They agree to take them in the Millennium Falcon, which is Han Solo's spaceship, to Alderaan, which is Princess Leia's planet. Time for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind you. Let's count down from five to blast off. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Take your legs out wide. Oh, we're rumbling one way. Oh, we're rumbling the other way. Oh, we're rumbling forwards. Oh, we're rumbling all the way back. Lifting your legs to the sky. Wow. 
floating through space. They head to Alderaan, Princess Leia's planet. But before they get there, they are met with a crazy, awful meteor storm, crossing your legs, sitting up, and pitter-patter on your faces, all the way around, and on your chests, and on your legs, and on your arms. Oh no, this is no meteor storm. This is Alderaan that's been destroyed by the Death Star. <gasps> there was only one place the heroes could go, to the Death Star. They used the special steering sticks holding onto your foot to aim themselves, aim the Millennium Falcon at the Death Star. Take the other ankle now and do it the other side. They came into land. Now they needed to find Princess Leia, who must be on here somewhere, being held captive. The problem was they looked a bit normal and they needed to look like the stormtroopers. So they found a couple of stormtrooper outfits standing up and wiggle inside them. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Han Solo and Luke were ready to march with the other stormtroopers. They find Princess Leia's cell, leaning all the way forwards. Take your hands in front of you and make the backs of your hands meet. Open the door. Yeah. And there was Princess Leia, hugs all round. Yay! They'd rescued her. Now, while Han Solo and Luke were rescuing Leia, Obi-Wan Kenobi met Darth Vader. And they were challenged each to a lightsaber duel. Now was the time for this enormous lightsaber duel. Take one leg forward, one leg back, and reach your arms to the sky. Open out, letting your arm come forward and your lightsaber come forward as well. Reach all the way up to the sky. And then take your hands behind you as you bend all the way forward. Remember, as Obi-Wan had taught Luke in his Jedi fighting skills. Then we come all the way up. We turn the other way. We lift our lightsaber up to the sky. We open it out long. We bring it up to the sky again. And we crisscross our fingers behind our back as we come down humbly like humble Jedi warriors. <gasps> oh no. Darth Vader manages to defeat Obi-Wan Kenobi. Zoom. But in doing this, in this sacrifice, he lets the others escape. They need to get the Millennium Falcon out of there, arms out wide, spinning side to side. Quick, let's escape! But they are chased by the Galactic Empire's TIE Fighters. Arms out wide, take one hand across to the opposite foot and reach your arm to the sky. And the other side. Can you go faster? Luckily, Han Solo manages to land, coming down to your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little landing ball. <sighs> For now, they are safe, and they get to study the special secret plans to find out where the weak spot is of the Death Star. This is what Luke must shoot and fire at if he can destroy it, if he's going to destroy it once and for all. Time for the fight, the Battle of Yavin. Luke gets into his X-Wing, his jet aeroplane. Coming up onto your knees, your arms out wide. Come down onto one hand and wave at the sky. Bring one foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. And use the force by closing your eyes. Coming onto your knees again, we take our wings out wide, come down onto the other side, wave at the sky. Bring that foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out behind you. And remember the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi, the ghost saying, use the force, Luke. 
Sat behind Luke is R2-D2, the droid, his co-pilot, helping him fire and find his aim. Take your thumb out in front of you and put your other finger on your chin to keep your head steady. Then follow your thumb as you lift it up, down, side, not moving your head, just your eyes, side, and all the way around. He gets the Death Star in his sight and gets ready to fire. Take your legs out long. Take two fingers and put them in between your big toe and your second toe. Hook them round your big toe and lift up your special gun. Put your finger and your thumb on top of your toe and reach towards your other toe. Take aim. One, two, three, two! The whole thing explodes with a big boom. Coming up onto your toes, ready? One, two, three, boom! Luke has done it, but he needs to get out of the way before his jet plane gets ruined by the meteors that are coming from the Death Star. Lying on your back, lift your legs up to the sky as you fly your jet up forwards and up. Luke manages to escape. He sits up full of elation. Yay! He managed to destroy the Galactic Empire's Death Star. He was a hero. A Jedi hero. And it was time for him, Han Solo, and the droids, and Chewbacca to receive their gold medal of bravery at the very, very wonderful ceremony with Princess Leia standing up. They all bow to receive their special medals. And for now, they can all rest easily. For the first time in a long time, they all sleep lying all the way down. Take your legs long and your arms down by your sides and close your eyes. It's been a very, very tough time. And now, this wonderful rest, it comes so happily to all of those who have been so brave especially you, for being brave cosmic kids, for using the force, the force of good against the dark side. Keep that goodness inside you, that love. Take it wherever you go and the world will be peaceful Breathing slowly. Time to wake up again now. We wiggle our fingers, our toes. We hug our knees into our chest. And we roll to our sides, opening our eyes, coming up to sitting with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just as we started with Namaste. Ready? After three, one, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our special Star Wars episode. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're off to meet Mike the monkey. But no ordinary monkey. Oh no. Mike 
is a space monkey, an astro chimp. So we're going in a rocket to space. Let's go and meet him. We take the train, standing up, putting our arms down by our sides. We pull the horn. Hoo hoo. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Hoo hoo. We're here. And Mike does a big monkey jump to welcome us. Crouching down after three. One, two, three. He opens his monkey arms wide and gives us a big cuddle. Oh, he leads us down through the secret tunnel. Hands down, feet down, into the secret bunker. We sit on our bottoms and put our legs out long in front of us. There are two telephones, a red one and a blue one. The red one rings. Ring, 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 ring. Mike answers. Hello. The evil alien mudfish, Snarge, has taken your friends prisoner on the space station. You must rescue them at once. Hurry. Wow, that's a bit scary. Then the blue one rings. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Mike answers again. Hello. Your friend, Mutnik, the astro dog, is there already. He will help you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, well, Mike wastes no time at all. He gets into his rocket. Standing up, jump your feet wide, bring your hands above your head and point to the sky. He closes his rocket down, jump your feet together, bend forward and sits down in his capsule. He reaches forward and twiddles all of his knobs. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. twiddle. Ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom and count down from five, lifting your hips. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Mike rumbles and jumbles, rumbling and jumbling, rumbling and jumbling with the power as he goes up into orbit. Then silence as he coasts. Lying down, put your arms down flat and lift your legs up to the sky. He controls the rocket using his pedals. Hands behind your head and pedal your rocket slow and fast. And slow and fast. Time to land. Coming into his landing position, Mike tucks himself up into a little monkey ball. He's here. He comes onto his tummy and he peers out of his little rocket window. He's going to get out. Take your feet under, lift your bottom and walk your feet towards your hands. Then open up your rocket and say, hello space, hello space. He wiggles into his space suit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then he takes one small step for monkeys and looks over one side. One giant step for monkey kind and looks over the other side. All of a sudden, a door opens and out comes Mutnik, the Russian astro dog. Hands down, feet down, lift up your bottoms and let's have a Mutnik woof. Woof, 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 woof. How exciting! Mike is so pleased Mutnik's here to help him. They look through their cosminoculars. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> There's Snarge in his mud bowl. Coming onto your tummy, flick your feet towards your bottom. Take hold of your ankles and kick up like a bowl. Mutnik donkey kicks two hoverboards free. Hands down, lift your bottom up and donkey kick your feet. The hoverboards are a bit like skateboards, only without the wheels. They put one foot forward, one foot back and cartwheel their hands back and go whoosh. They go round a corner and jump the other way. Whoosh. And come to a stop. Whoop. 
right outside Snarge's mud bowl. They're a bit nervous, so they take a deep breath. Crisscross your fingers underneath your chin. Big breath in. Big breath out. Then they take a big squelchy step into the mud. Squelch! And another big squelchy step. Squelch! Snarge, the evil alien mudfish, hears them. He says, Good evening, Mr. Mike and Mr. Mutnick. Come to save your friends. <laughs> oh dear, trapped in a cage. Is Gladys the spider? Bend your knees. Ticka, 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 your hands round to the outside. And Toby the turtle, sitting on your bottom, take your legs out wide, arms inside and under they go. Both Gladys and Toby look absolutely petrified and Mike can't bear to see them looking so scared. He stands up tall and brave and says, Please, Snarge, see how they fear you. You must let them go. Snarge jumps wide and says, I don't care what they feel or what you feel. I only care about me and my feelings. But all of a sudden, the whole place is hit by a cosmic storm. Millions of mini meteors start rattling against the sides of the station and the whole place begins to spin around in a circle. They haven't got long, they've got to get out. Snarge has rolled over onto his back and is holding onto his funny feet, crying for help. Help! He looks like a great big baby. The cages pop open and out come Gladys and Toby, scuttling away. Oh, oh, oh. All of a sudden, Mike stops. Hang on, we can't leave Snarge behind. He's truly terrified. We must forgive him. I'm going to go back and save him. And he runs in slow motion back to save Snarge. Snarge is in a puddle on the floor. <laughs> but when he looks up and he sees Mike, his eyes fill with sorrow and hope. Oh, Mike, please take me with you. I'm sorry, I'll stop being an evil alien mudfish. Mike knows that Snarge is being, being real, so he saves him. Standing up, turn yourself around and crisscross your fingers behind your back. He lifts up the evil alien mudfish onto his very strong back and he clumps through the mud. Clump, clump. Clump, clump, all the way back to the escape pod. They all huddle together in a little scary huddle as they zoom back to the space base. When they arrive, Mike is greeted with a huge cheer. Yay! Everyone is delighted. He saved Gladys and Toby. Mike is so ready for a rest, he takes himself to his favourite spot in the whole space base. A gorgeous comfy couch where he lays himself down, puts his arms down, puts his head back and just stops for a moment, taking some peace and quiet. Oh, what a mission. He's so pleased he was there to help. And how he learnt to forgive someone who was clearly so bad, so pained, but needed a bit of friendship. Sometimes we have to think what other people are feeling. We can't just think about what our own feelings are. And it's nice just to breathe and have some peace some calm time. Now, keeping all that peace inside, slowly start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring your knees up to your chest and give them a little cuddle. Roll over onto your side 
and slowly come up to sitting with your legs crossed and your hands together at your heart just the way we started and we'll finish saying our secret magic yoga code word Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done everyone. Thanks for coming to space and meeting Mike. You were great. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin by crossing our legs, sitting down on our bottoms and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There! Now we're ready to begin and today we're going off 100 years into the future to meet a very special dog called Sparks24. He's a robo-dog. A dog that's a robot. So we're going in a time machine. Coming up onto your knees and stick your leg out to the side. Lift your arm up to the air and let's open up the back door. Ooh. Bring your knees back together again. Stick your leg out to the other side. Now lift your other arm up and close the door behind you. Ooh! Wow! Our time machine is a big round bubble. Cross your legs and blow your bubble up. I think that'll be big enough. Let's crawl inside. We come onto all fours and we reach in with one arm, two arms, one leg, two legs. There, we sit up nice and tall, we lean forward and we twiddle all of the lights and beepers. Beep, boop, 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 setting the time for a hundred years in the future. We're ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind your bottom, and let's lift our hips as we count down from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Up we go, everyone. Legs up in the air. We're rocking, we're rolling, we're rocking, and we're rolling. And then we go very still. And we go from the side to the other side as we zoom through time forwards by 100 years. We're coming in to land. Coming onto your knees, everyone, and tucking up into a tiny little ball. We sit up and stretch. Wow, it's bright out here. We need to put on our eye protectors. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, pop them over your eyes. That's better. But what's that funny whirring sound? Cross your legs, bring your hands together and close your eyes and go um. We open up our eyes and we see it's Sparks 24, the Robo Dog. Hands down, feet down and woof 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 Sparks 24 does a big spin <laughs> he comes down onto his back paws and stretches out his front paws with a really big happy pant <laughs> he's got two tails coming up onto all fours he lifts up one tail and gives it a wag with a little pant <laughs> Then he puts that one down and lifts up the other one and pants again. <laughs> He's very happy to see us. He's got a green television screen on his tummy. Now rubbing a hand around on your tummy, can you pat your head at the same time? <gasps> yes, you can. Sparks24 says, 
When my tummy turns from green to red, it means that some part of my body has switched off. I need your help to help me switch myself back on again. You will hear a funny noise. Well, great. Now we know that, we can get on and explore the future. We get into a flying car. Put your legs out nice and wide. Wow, it's so cool as we flip over one side and then we flip over the other side. We go all the way back up a hill. Whee! And down a hill. Wow, what a fun flying car but we haven't seen much of the city. We get out and we look around. Wow, there are so many tall buildings. Jump your feet wide, bring your hands up above your head. They've got very pointy glass roofs. Wow, there are also lots of rivers in this city with lovely little bridges. Sitting on your bottom, put your hands behind your bottom and lift yourself up. We look in the water and we see there are lots of fish and they all have lights on their heads. Point your toes down, come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest up and look all the way up and behind you. Wow, what amazing fish. All of a sudden though, we hear a funny noise. Oh no, Sparse 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Some part of him has switched off. Let's do the check. Sitting on our bottoms, we check his back paws. Lift them up. Yes, they still go side to side. What about his front paws? Yes, they still go side to side. What about his eyes? Cross your legs, stick your thumb out. Now without moving your head, see if you can follow your thumb with your eyes. Up, down, side, side. Yes, they still work. Maybe it's his shoulders. Can we lift up one shoulder, two shoulders, drop the first shoulder and the second shoulder, going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, yes you can, wonderful. His shoulders are fine. Maybe it's his ears. Coming onto all fours, we say, hello, Sparks 24. Oh, we don't hear anything. So it's his ears. Sitting back, give your ears a rub right from the bottom, right the way around to the top to switch them back on again. Sparks 24 can hear again. Woof, woof. He does a little spin. <laughs> Comes down onto his little legs and stretches out his front paws to say, thank you. We're feeling quite peckish now, and Sparks24 leads us to the Yum Yum telephone. Sitting with your legs out long in front of you again, we pick up the receiver and we dial the Yum Yum telephone number. Yum 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 Sparks24 says that we have to ask for what we want and we must say please. Right, oh, hello, um, can I have a strawberry yoghurt, please? Oh, coming right up, thanks. Okay, bye. Great, that's exciting. Now apparently when the other one rings, we have to say thank you. And that means we get our food in our mouths immediately. Ring, 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 ring. Ready? Hello? Oh, thank you. Oh. Mmm, 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 mmm. What's yummy strawberry yogurt? Ooh, I'm feeling quite full now, but then we hear the funny noise again. <coughs> Spots 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Oh no! Let's do the check. Is it his back paws? Sitting back, lift up your feet. <coughs> They still work. Maybe it's his front paws. They're fine. Maybe it's his ears. It was those before. Coming onto all fours, we say, Hello, Sparks 24. Oh, well, the ears are certainly working. Maybe it's his shoulders going up, up, down, down, 
up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, little, 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 little. Wow, that's very clever. Maybe it's his eyes. Stick your thumb out. Let's see if we can follow that thumb with our eyes without moving our heads. Ready? Up. Hmm. Down. Hmm. Side. Hmm. Side. It's his eyes. Let's switch them back on again by doing five slow blinks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Sparks 24 is here again. He does another big spin. <laughs> Comes back down onto his back legs, stretches out his front legs and says a happy robo dog, thank you. <laughs> Sparks 24 thinks we should go to the relaxation pods now because we clearly need to recharge our batteries. What a lovely idea. We could do with recharging our batteries as well. So we head to the relaxation pods and plug ourselves in. We lie all the way back onto our backs and put our arms down by our sides. Ah, oh, what a lovely thing to take a few moments and recharge our batteries. Sometimes bits of our bodies can switch themselves off, like our ears. We stop listening. And it's just good to notice when a bit of our body switches off so that we can help it switch back on again, just like we helped Sparks 24. And now we can take this moment of peace and relaxation just to get our bodies feeling really good again. Let's take some lovely deep breaths. slowly we start to wiggle our fingers and we wiggle our toes we stretch our body up really long like spaghetti then we bring our knees into our chests and give ourselves a cuddle we roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed just the way we started with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish with our secret magic yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to the future with me, for meeting Sparks24. He loved you. I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.